Alright, so this is the uh, next portion of the Habaki tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you how to start carving things out. Um, as you can see, I've got the two sides of it cut out. Um, I even carved out this side. Um, but again, I just wanted to uh, remind you that you want to have enough length on this side that you can grab onto it. Like you can see all the lines are on there. Um, and that's um, all from last video. So, um, just to kind of give you an idea what that looks out carved out, here's a little mirror comparison there. You can kind of see the difference between the two and where those lines start to take shape. So as you can see, the back on that notch is carved out and that front notch is carved right in, just so you kind of get a sense. And like I said, what's going to happen is we're going to finish carving out the other side, then they're just going to put together and it's going to slide right in. So that's what it's going to look like. Um, and just to kind of give you a nice sense, you've seen how this is carved. Uh, I'll show you how to carve this out, but uh, just so you see how it fits onto the blade, it would obviously slide in from the bottom. And it slides up into this notch, and it hits these two parts, hits that notch. You can see again how it's um, open on the back. There's still some shaping to do back here, but this is how it's going to start off. And how it slides into that front recess notch, just like that. And then there'll be another line that we will cut once it's all done. We'll cut like right around here, just so you have a little extra space up front. So this really creates a recessed part for the uh, the front end of the edge. So that's pretty much how it's going to go. And again, like I said, the, the other side is going to just glue on to the end of that. And again, you can kind of see the spacing you're going for. You want a very tight space all the way around. So that's going to be uniform, and that's going to take a little bit of work to practice, but I'm going to show you how to get started. So um, this is what you're going to start off with. Your biggest challenge in this is going to be mimicking the bevel that's along your blade. Um, I've done this a couple times, so it's pretty easy for me. Um, but just to start off with, you're probably going to want to draw a straight line that goes from the tip of that recess joint and goes all the way back to this, the open part of the, the back. And the reason for that is you can work out your way you work your way out to this curve as opposed to, you know, accidentally carving too big of a curve and then you're in trouble. So you really want to just kinda draw your straight line there and then work in straight lines and then you can use your chisel and kinda work your way out to that final curve. And you constantly checking your blade in that recess as well. So, like I said, once you've got your straight line, I'm just going to work right from my bevel there because I know that to be accurate. Um, but I'll show you what I start off doing. So, first thing I do is I just take these lines that I've drawn out and I want to cut them deep. Um, kind of like I showed you on the chiseling tutorial. So I'm just going to draw the lines that I've drawn, I'm just going to take the knife and pressing in a little bit, go right along the edge of it. And just score it just a little bit. And I want to do the same on this front line here. So we'll do that. So once that, those two lines are scored, the way I find it easiest to start off after that is just to kind of carve a little bit off the end here. Because normally in the process what I do is I make this front line the priority and once you have that line established, you can just use your chisel and chisel out to meet this front line. But this line is the line that's going to show, so this is kind of most important. So once you've kind of chiseled off a little bit of the top there, you also want to score this line right here, because that's where the notch is just going to open up. So if you don't cut it there, you might just take out this whole chunk here, and you don't want to do that. So you really have to score that as well. 
is rescore this line a little bit. All right. Now this is kind of where the hard part comes in. You're going to want to take your chisel. And easily, gently, kind of pry away at that notch. Apply even pressure as you go in. And just kind of twist. See, that was even too much pressure. Um, which is why you score it, so you don't have accidents. But you really want to be gentle and be careful um, with your lines. And again, you're going to want to hold this, you would want to hold this piece down on right onto the surface of your workspace, like so, and clamp it down even. Um, but just for the purpose of the videos, I've kind of got it up in the air there. But again, you can see now why I had you cut this piece a little bit longer. So again, I mean, you just really want to be gentle and get that notch carved out. And like I said, you're going to have this straight line going that you drew. And I want you, what you're going to want to do is you want to carry that line all the way up to this tip right here. Because that's where the recess will be. So you just want to basically carve that straight line with your chisel all the way through. Once you've done that, if you want to try and manipulate um, your line a little bit to kind of get that curve, once you have that straight line, what I want you to do is I want you to take your sword blade and line it up a little bit. You're going to want to do it on this side. And you can see how I'm nowhere close. Obviously because I haven't even drawn that straight line out yet. But as you go along, you kind of want to compare it to your sword blade and uh, make uh, adjustments accordingly. So just continuing on. Ooh. Again, you can see a little bit too much pressure on that on that one. But again, no accidents. And remember, because of that, you also want to make sure that you uh, get your hand out of the way of the chisel in case it slips out on you. Just take off a little bit at a time as well is very useful to do. And when I'm working out to that bevel, something that I'm doing is I'm starting up high with the chisel and I'm kind of scooping with it, you know, I'm kind of digging in and dropping the chisel as I go to really kind of create that bevel. So again, what you want to do is you want to come back with your sword blade and line it up, see how it's going to fit, and if it doesn't, you need to make adjustments accordingly. Now at this point, before you get too finicky about how close the fit is up top, you can see there's a lot of wood left that we got to fill out. Um, so in the next video I'm going to cover quickly how to just get rid of the rest of this wood. Uh, and we'll go from there.